how are you feeling about the incentive right now, Happy Feats, a day beforehand? <laughs> Very nervous. I announced it to my community already, and we're all just like super sweating. <laughs> Again, no fear over here. I'm sure it's going to happen because you had an amazing showcase of this game at Corona Relief Done Quick earlier this year. Tell me a little bit about why you wanted to submit a, you know, a dance showcase, a dance game showcase at a speedrunning event. The biggest reason is what's always like stuck with me ever since I got on Twitch like at all. And that was to just get this genre out there for the whole world to see and just share my passion with my community, along with everyone else that's willing to uh, even consider checking it out. It's a big passion of mine. And um, the genre just doesn't get that much uh, attention, truth be told. And especially a game like Pump It Up. A lot of the viewers probably are familiar with Dance Dance Revolution. Uh, mainly because of how much uh, more of an impact that game had in the States. But Pump It Up is a lot more smaller when compared to DDR. Yeah, if I hadn't seen your showcase at CRDQ, I would totally be looking at this camera right now, seeing all these six lights and everything, and just be go going, this guy's going to run DDR? What's going on here? What's happening? So explain to everybody out there why this is different than DDR, how it's different, what is unique about Pump It Up? What makes Pump It Up very unique, um, outside of the, the most obvious thing, which is the layout of the buttons, DDR is up, down, left, right, being a four panel game. Whereas Pump It Up has two diagonal ups, two diagonal downs, and one center, so five panel total. Hmm. Um, on top of that, double performance, which is one player doing both sides at the same time, is very common, especially in higher competitive level for Pump It Up. And the design of the, the step charts in the game make you uh, have a lot more movement going on. It's very noticeable when compared to DDR. So let's talk a little bit more about that movement. So you, you we kind of saw it earlier in the marathon. We saw it just yesterday with Half-Life Alex. how a VR speed run can really take a, a toll on you physically as you're doing the, the speed run. Uh, with Pump It Up and, and dance games, what do you do to kind of prepare for that physical side of things? and and uh, what kind of toll does it take to be uh, playing this game so often? The biggest thing is uh, obviously taking care of your, your health, both mentally and physically. I mean, you obviously, you gotta warm up first, play some songs that you're really comfortable with and get your muscles loose. Um, eat well, sleep well, drink a lot of water, stay hydrated. Like, it's very similar things to, I mean, pretty much it's an athletic type of thing. I mean, mm. all players at that high level are, should be treated as an athlete. Uh, it gets the higher level you're going, the more physical demand that there is. And uh, you just really have to take care of yourself and play often and play smart. When you're approaching your sessions, when you go in, you need to have a game plan and know what you're trying to accomplish or do during that session rather than just swipe your card and get up and play just for the sake of playing. Yeah, I think that's super cool. You can draw parallels between that and like any form of competitive gaming, whether it be speedrunning, whether it be, you know, first person shooters or fighting games or whatever. I, I think that you'll always hear the, the top folks talk about just, I, I went in to this run to try to like work, uh, work, went into the stream day to work on my consistency, you know, like work, work on this specific trick in this speedrun or something. Uh, and it's cool to, to hear that apply to both to uh, dance games as well. I think that's great. Yeah, they both speedrunning and dance games at like a high level require a lot of uh, repetition and grinding, and they they are very similar. It's very true. Mm -hmm. So, what is it about dance games in particular that drew you in and like made you want to just keep playing it and really focus on playing it at a high level as opposed to just you know, oh, I'll go play it when I when I pass by an arcade sometime. Yeah, I mean, like you said, it, it started out just like that, where I would just pass by an arcade and see it. Um, once I got into the home version, I branched out to go to the arcade. Then I remember seeing um, a lot of local tournaments at like my mall or arcade with a lot of older players that were way better than me at the time. And <laughs> I was blown away by it. And I really wanted to get involved because I've always grown up being a very competitive person and seeing people that are better than me or at the same level just really wants, it motivates and pushes me to get better and reach that level or even go higher than that. And I just love competition all around. That's what really drew me in. Yeah, again, I love the parallels that, that we see with any of these competitive things. Same kind of answers that I heard from uh, the Warframe runner that I talked to earlier in the week as well. It's it's really cool to just see how common all of these different aspects of gaming are when you really boil it down to things. Uh, so I wanted to ask you, I uh, want to kind of pivot a little bit here and talk a little more about your CRDQ run, Happy Feats, because there is something that was really unique about that other than it being 
a fantastic dance showcase that uh, the average viewer probably never noticed. <laughs> and that is that your host in Eternal Enigma and you worked it out where you actually couldn't hear him during your run because you, you know, had to actually focus on the game and everything. You, you were out standing on the uh, mat itself. How did that come together that, to work out like when you're gonna toss up time for donations and just trust that, that he's going? Were you worried at all about stumbling over each other? A hundred percent. And initially we tried to work something out where like depending on what song I was gonna play in order, like I'd say, okay, on this song, I'll try to be quiet. And mm -hmm. it just kind of went out the window, honestly. I was like, all right, <laughs> let's just, I'm just gonna wing it and hope I don't step on his feet. And let's just hope that I, yeah, the hope that doesn't happen. And we got really lucky. Like it only happened once or twice. And I was really, really glad. I was really worried about that the whole entire time. Yeah, it went really well. I was working the, the audio shift for that and I was just blown away every time that it just seamlessly transitioned from one of you to the other. Uh, I'm looking forward to your showcase, Happy Feats. I hope everybody else is as well. I got one last easy lob of a question for you. Last time at CRDQ, you went the entire hour without your fan on. Will you please turn your fan on this time? Just just for just for us to keep keep you healthy and alive. <laughs> I will turn on my fan and that's a promise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Thank you very much. Hopefully that can keep you cool. And hopefully, it can, everybody else can watch how cool this run is going to be. Look at my awesome segues and transitions. Uh, we are getting set up for this right now. So everybody, thank you so much, Happy Feats, again, for joining me and talking to me here. We are going to kick it over to you, your run, in just a moment. Awesome. Thanks for having me. Hello, everybody. My name's Seth, aka Happy Feats, and I'm super excited to be here tonight. Uh, it's an honor, and I need to give a big thank you to everyone that made this possible. $120,000 was donated to an awesome cause, and to be able to unlock this bonus uh, showcase. I'm going to be showcasing Pump It Up. Uh, I've been playing the genre for over 20 years now at this point, and I'm super excited to be here. Uh, some of you may remember me from Corona Relief Done Quick, and you probably remember that I didn't use a fan, but... You probably hear them already. I've got three of them this time, so I should be okay. Uh, and without further ado, let's just get right into it and start playing some Pump It Up. It's gonna move my mic over here. Give me one second. Alright, so we're going to start out with Poseidon level 22 double, and this is a very stamina intensive chart. Uh, I need to give a big shout out to Kiri, he's the artist of this song, and uh, he creates a lot of awesome tunes, and you guys are going to love this. Alright, Marforia, if you want to read off a couple donations, go right ahead, I'm going to be quiet for this first song. Sounds perfect. We have a $25 donation from Zipperu saying, I need me some Paradox. We have $10 from Omni Radiant saying, Happy Feet, Wombo Combo. Wait, wait, wrong game. <laughs> Anyways, great to see Pump It Up in GDQ, and we know you will slay it. We also want to see Paradox, so this donation is going just towards that. We have $10 from Bad Gunpla saying, Pump It Up Incentive is nothing to sleep on. Level 28 charts require Olympic level, level athleticism and the concentration of a chess grandmaster at the same time. Happy Feats is even a beast, is a beast for even attempting it. And he's done it before. Let's hit this incentive chat.
gave $28 from Figgy saying, go, Gooby, go, move those feet. Wish I could be there with you right now. Paradox hype, hashtag happy feet. I'm seeing a lot of people in the chat say that my neighbors hate me. You're not wrong. <laughs> so you can see that that one is incredibly uh, tiring, very stamina driven. Uh, that one runs at 160 BPM. Next time we're gonna do is one level higher. And less stamina involved with this one. But with this one, it's a lot more technical. You're gonna see a lot of uh, bracketing, which means I'm gonna hit multiple notes with one foot. section coming up right here very very tricky 30 seconds which are incredibly fast coming right up more 30 second notes we're gonna try to foot switch them and we got it so the technique at the ending right there um, you're supposed to hit the blue and yellow on this side with one foot the technique that I use however is able to cut that rhythm down in half so I'm actually gonna hit two notes with one foot like so and then switch over to my other foot. So it goes from 30 second rhythm to 16th rhythm. Level 23. Level 22. We got another sour please coming right up. Point zero two. Awesome song by Synth Wolf. And this one actually came out pretty recently. And a lot of people in our community love it for good reason. Uh, Mar, go ahead and read off some donations here for about 45 seconds or so. I would love to. And just remember, guys, oh, we are we are $15,000 away from that Paradox incentive, so keep them coming. We have a $50 donation from Wannabeast saying, D28 Paradox hype, let's go, let's go. We have $100 from Ben P saying, Happy Pizza Showcase at CRDQ was incredible and I can't wait to be wowed again. Let's see Paradox. We have $20 from Zero Jedi saying, Staying up for the Pump It Up run, let's try and unlock that Paradox attempt. All right. The hard part's coming up after this build up here. Lots of movement right here. Here we go.
a nice little countdown at the ending. So let's go over the pump letter grade system that exists. Um, the first few, you're seeing uh, one miss. You're seeing that we got a blue A. Uh, if, the, if the letter grade is a color, that means that I passed with the life bar without reaching zero on the life bar. There's eight letter grades total in the game. Going from the worst to the best, you're gonna get a letter grade F, D, C, B, A. After that, it's gonna be a gold S, a double gold S, and a triple S. If you wanna get a triple S, that means that you got all perfect. You can't make any mistakes at all. So that is the highest letter grade that you can get. Uh, this last song for this first set here is Broken Karma by Kiri yet again. So again, big shout out to Kiri. Creating awesome, awesome tunes here. Let's go, this is level 23 double. So as I said in uh, the interview that I had, that was played before I uh, went live here. The main difference between DDR and Pump It Up is that the arrows on Pump are all diagonal with one center panel as well. Whereas DDR is four panels. The other key difference is that Pump It Up's timing window for getting perfect is a lot more uh, loose. So it's a lot easier to get perfect, whereas DDR is a lot more strict. So DDR focuses more on timing, uh, where Pump focuses more on heavy, heavy movement with a looser window. It's more technical. Here we go. We did it. We got all perfects. It's going to be a triple S. That one goes out. The game's done quick. All right, Mar, if you want to take this time to read off a couple donations um, so that I go back into the next set here, go right ahead. Sounds perfect. These donations have been flying in just as fast as Happy Feets' is feet. <laughs> we have a $50 donation from Bombbeard saying, thank you all and stay hydrated. Paradox hype. $5 from Sandshark saying, I want to see a dono trade going for the Paradox Pump It Up incentive. Choo choo. We have $250 from DDR Coder saying, it's so awesome to see Happy Feet showcasing Pump It Up. I've been an avid dance game player for 20 years now, and it's stunning to see just how far this genre and its community has grown. We have an anonymous $25 donation saying, what do we want? Pump! Where do we want it? Up! <laughs> $25 from the Oratog saying, love dance games and can't wait to watch this Pump It Up run. Get it, Happy All Feet. Right. So, we're doing the same exact technique that I did on the first song where I used one foot to hit multiple notes. The same thing is being applied here on this chart. 
You'll see it on the two blue notes coming up, and I'll be switching my feet on that. Another one coming up right here. So that is cutting the rhythm literally in half to make it a lot more manageable to get perfect. And at the end of this chart, there's a really big one. Here we go. Incredibly hard if you were to do that with one foot for each note. 30 seconds at 175 BPM. So I'm not really good at math or quick math, but we probably have some five heads in the chat. <laughs> they probably know what the BPM would be for 175 times two. Oh, my buddy behind me told me 350 BPM. Okay. So I've been showcasing all doubles so far, which is one person doing both sides. So let's do a little bit of singles right here. This is where I'm just gonna be on one side, but don't let that fool you because it's still incredibly difficult. All right, Mar, you got about like 30 seconds or so. Go ahead. Absolutely. We have a $10 donation from Madame Toadstool saying, wow, is this real life? Unbelievable, Happy Feets. I'm starting nursing school this Monday, and I hope one day to become part of Doctors Without Borders. Thank you, GDQ staff, hosts, runners, and everyone else involved. My husband and I look forward to this every year. $50 from DJ Candy B saying, here's 50 bucks for the fastest feet in all the land. Hashtag Feats for Days. $10 from Plague Brat saying, give me that paradox, blow my mind. All right. So like I said, singles, just because I'm on one side, doesn't make it easier necessarily. There's still a lot going on. This next section is gonna do the same thing, but it gets harder and harder as it goes. Lots of bracketing going on in this chart. The other thing that makes Pump It Up much more different than any other dance game is the, the hold notes. So there's a lot of notes where you're gonna see a long line of that arrow or center panel where I have to just sit there and hold it down. Um, real quick though, you can see right here, we got a grade S. That means in order for you to get an S, you can't get any misses. If you get a single miss, then you're automatically gonna go down to an A at least. Level 22, level 23. Um, with the hold notes though, they, you don't have to hit the start of a hold. The only time you have to do that is if there's an actual like normal arrow right above it. We're gonna get some Dreamcatcher going on here. So shout out to all the K-pop stands. Well, let's go. I'm gonna play Good Night. 196 BPM. This is a single level 23. And just recently, we were the first player in the world to actually get all perfects on this chart. Super happy about it. Incredibly hard. And there's gonna be a really cool, uh, really cool trick that we're gonna do. 
And trust me, you'll know when it comes. Until then, Mar, go ahead and take it off. Absolutely. We have $50 from Kazran saying, you know I gotta pour some quarters into a rhythm game incentive. Paradox hype. We have $2,000 from Roasted Donut saying, can't wait to see Paradox. $100 from Chase237 saying, Pump up the donations for this Pump It Up Showcase. No doubt, moment of the week. Here we go. That's a nice little trick you can do in Pump It Up. So like I said, you don't have to hit the start of holds. So if you've got big feet, you can actually just hold on to the arrows right there, just tap with your hand on the center, since the center is not a hold. We're not done yet. Not, not bad, actually. Green Mist is really solid, along with that combo. Next stage. So, normally, the part where I went down with my hand, they didn't design that song to be like that. But, uh, it's something that I'm definitely known for, is I try to improvise and try to find ways to make it more comfortable for me to play. And it just so happens that it's a lot easier for me to just go down and tap with my hand on the yellow rather than doing the pattern they want. All right, Mara, go ahead, take over here. Um, real quick, this one's really hard because of the very end, it has a pattern known as an M run, where it basically just makes me go from one pad to the next very, very quickly. And you'll, you'll know when it comes. So Mara, go ahead, take over. Yes, yes, we have $1,000 from Silver Beagle 06 saying, let's go, happy feet. We have $50 from JC105 saying, mind blown. Let's make those feet even happier. Go, go, Gadget Paradox. And with that being said, everyone, we are about $7,000 away from that Paradox incentive. I know we can do it. Those donations are flying in, and this is such an amazing showcase. Let's go, let's go. We have $10 from Drop Bear saying, great event. Go. Love the variety the of games and incoming Very pump it solid. up in Sandy. Yeah, I knew you could Two miss on that run. I'm gonna go ahead and reset the cabinet here, just to get a fresh start. Uh, Mar, you can go ahead and read donations here for a little bit, like a minute or so. Perfect. We have $20 from Sean T saying, wow, how is this possible? So quick, so fast, my eyes can't even keep up, let alone my feet. He makes it look so easy. I have to see the D28 Paradox Incentive. Hi. We have $100 from Norgi saying, Happy Feats was the best part of CRDQ. We need more. Turn on the fan. Yes, please. We have $20 from Duran saying, let's show some love for the Pump It Up run. You heard sent? Only three people have ever cleared Paradox. You're gonna want to see more of this, so get those donations in. We have $25 from Outlaw Nightmare 67 saying, grew up playing Pump It Up in arcades? Excited to see it demolished. Let's go.
Okay. $50 from G-Hall 4 saying, let's get that Paradox incentive next. Coming up right here, I'm going to show you a way that you can save energy on this game. As hard as that is to believe. So you can try to pay attention right here to a lot of movement I'm doing. Lots of like hip movement, pivoting from left to right. I'll show it one more time in the next section after this. And then I'll show the difference between moving a lot and conserving. So here's moving. Lots of emphasized movement. And here's conserving. So there's many different play styles in this game. It just comes down to personal preference. For me, I decided like, I kind of just based it off of like the, the song I'm playing and like how hard the section is to do it legitimately or try to take advantage of the large window in the game. And there we go, that should be another triple S. All perfects. There you go. Another triple S. Now, Mari, uh, you're gonna go ahead and uh, Feel free to do more donation shout outs here, but real quick, the next one I'm gonna play, if you watched CRDQ last time, or CRDQ, sorry, you're gonna remember the chart that I played that made me stretch my legs out really, really far out. We're gonna play a song that has the same exact thing. So, rip me. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> All right, Mark, go ahead, go for it. We have $50 from Hungry Camel saying, let's give Happy Feets a chance to earn the right to put his feet up. Let's get that paradox incentive. $25 from Goblet of Fire saying, dance for those doctors. We have $250 from Britain's Rules saying, paradox. Paradox! Paradox! That's right, we're only 5k away from that. Thank you, thank you everyone for donating. Let's get that paradox going. $57 from Star Creator saying, Dance games are among my favorite pastimes and I love seeing it get so much support. Thanks to everyone for putting this together and supporting MSF. Here we go. No need to stretch before the game, because it's going to stretch you. Another triple S. I gotta say really quick, the fans are really helping. I'm really glad I was able to keep them on this time because it's uh, it's incredibly hot. Way worse than CRDQ. Even without the fans on at CRDQ. So this, uh, this next song that we're gonna do is an optional mode where you can actually play a song together with a partner. This is called co-op mode. And the way that you know which arrows to hit is they are color-coded. So one player is going to have red or pink, however you want to see it, and the other is going to be a blue. And you do have to switch sides. So you have to follow the colored note. So I'm going to have my partner join me right now. And we're going to play Reminiscence co-op times two. There are some co-ops that have three people, four people, five people. Uh, it'll always tell you right there. You can see the little yellow circle on the bottom with the X2. That's how many players you're gonna need. All right, here we go, Mar. It's all you. Go for it. That's the goal. Are we winning some? 
We have $25 from Pumpkin Sing. Reminder for everyone to stay healthy and hydrated as we near the weekend. Can't wait for Pump It Up. Let's meet that paradox goal, y'all. We have $5 from Whitney Sing. Been waiting all day for this Pump It Up run. Staying up late even though I've got work at 6 in the morning. Who cares? Let's go Paradox. $250 from Eramdam saying Paradox Hype. We have $50 from It's Herald saying, this Pump It Up showcase is absolutely ridiculous. I love it. An anonymous $25 donation saying, great cause, great dancing. What more could you ask for? Exactly, this is awesome. Schmate donating $25 saying, Happy feet blew my mind during CRDQ. I'm ready to be blown yet again into space to the stars. Let's get that paradox incentive. $25 from Owl saying, Paradox hype! There you go. That is co-op mode. Now. The next song that we're gonna play is also a co-op where normally it requires two people, but I'm gonna do it by myself. Some co-ops have the option to do it by yourself, but original design, it's meant for two people. You can even put in a, uh, a little code. Some of the charts have it. Right in the beginning, look up top. Right there. You can change the note skin to look like a normal chart for one player. Very few have this option, but the original design of the chart is still the same. So let's do it. And Mar, it's all you, go for it. I'm gonna have full focus here. We, and with that being said, we have met the donation incentive for the D28 Paradox. So thank you, thank you. Well done to everyone. This wouldn't have been done without you and your amazing generosity. So we can't wait to see Happy Feet demolish and attempt that paradox. With that being said, we still have those donations flying in. So we have $25 from Epic Blue Mouse saying, first ever donation, and I had to do it during the Pump It Up run. So crazy awesome. We have $555 from Philosophy saying, choo choo, all aboard the Paradox train. $100 from Sherm Take saying, I did not know the human body could move like that. Happy Feats is amazing. Also, let's get Paradox. $30 from Foil Man saying, managed to pick my jaw off the ground long enough to donate. Yeah, I want to see that paradox attempt. $25 from John Juicendi saying, happy feet, use agility. $15 from Sammy Launch here saying, was heading go. to bed, but this run started and now I'm wide awake. Very solid play. I believe that was only like three miss or less, maybe. Let's take a look. One miss. Yeah. Right near the beginning, actually. Game over. Okay. So from this point forward, this is where we're going to crank up the difficulty a bit. 
Also, I need to hydrate. Chat, are you staying hydrated? You should. You should also keep donating to the awesome cause here. Let's go. Okay. This is a level 25 for double. It's very tame at the beginning. Most of the chart's pretty tame up until the ending. Gets very, very difficult. You're gonna just see a lot of movement and a whole bunch of arrows on the screen. So again, I'm gonna have full focus here. Mar, go ahead and read off some more donations for the whole song. Perfect. We have $20 from Danger Shark saying, that setup is so amazing, as is the gameplay. Actually, everything about this is amazing. $100 from Avatron saying, Happy Beats, this is the best run of my gosh darn life. Thank you and everyone at GDQ. $100 from Steven124 saying, Are these feats for real? I blink and it feels like my brain is glitching out. Let's keep it going! We have $200 from Track120 saying, Too impressive to not donate. $25 from Stu218 saying, Happy Beats is my hero. Just unreal. $50 from Sappy saying, Best of luck, Happy Beats. Rock it out there. Paradox Flux. $25 from Hinzenberg saying, This run is insane. Hi. $50 from Bearded Parker saying, Watching this with some friends and we're all entranced. This is amazing. Anonymous $50 donation saying, I need to see Happy Feast at peak performance. Let's get that D28 paradox. Very, very solid. Awesome run. Next stage. Whew. Okay. The next one, we're going from a level 25 up to a level 26. One of the hardest charts in the game. Remix. Ah. Uh, so my goal is going to be to pass this with my life bar, but with the conditions that I'm under, it's going to be incredibly hard. I'm going to do my best though. It's very hot and humid over here in Southern California. Let's try it. Mar, it's all you. Fantastic. We have an anonymous $10 donation saying, I was about to go to sleep, but decided to check out the stream before going to bed. Now I feel like I've been energized for the next 12 hours. Let's go, happy feet. We have $10 from Lollipop saying, every time Happy Feet finishes a track, I'm clapping in my empty house with a big grin on my face. Thanks for a great show and doing it for a great cause. We have $100 from Chris H saying, I know nothing about rhythm games, but this run is amazing so far. So here's 100 to see the Paradox run. We have $100 from player A plus B33 saying, OMG, what the heck am I watching? 
I know you're supposed to go fast, but this is supersonic fast. Amazing. $25 from Evan225 saying, I'm sold on this game for sure. Definitely want to see Paradox. We have $25 from Strider515 saying, I've never given to GDQ before. Happy Feast has inspired me. This is super impressive. My fiance and I are in awe, not only from the triple S, but also from commentating. Our fitted heartbeat is going through the roof. Keep it up, or should I say, pump it up. $50 from Mike the Bike saying, this is my first time seeing this game, and I've got to say, right. wow. Let's see more of Get it. Your manga ass is ready. Put this towards Paradox. We did it. We got a stage pass. Our life bar did not reach zero. Oh, I'm so tired. Yeah, can you throw some energy my way? I'm gonna need it for the next few songs. Yeah, 13 miss. Very, very solid. Next stage. The, the higher level charts like that, as you can see, they really try to throw everything they can at you to Bring your life bar to zero, or break your combo as much as they can. We're gonna restart the cab here. What do we have next? Oh, all right. Final audition. Q-2 level 24 double. This was another one that we actually we're the first player globally to get all perfects on this one. Incredibly hard, very technical, very stamina driven. It does not let up. It is incredibly relentless. So many things are happening during this chart. Mar, once again, I'm not gonna be able to talk during this one. I'm pooped, go for it. Oh God. Oh, it's totally fine. I hope you're staying hydrated and I hope those fans are helping out over there. <laughs> we have $200 from Schnazzy saying, I don't know what Pump It Up is, but with that sick arcade setup, I can't help but love it. $76 from Mr. Eju saying, time for my biannual donation to GDQ and MSF. Here's $100 Canadian to the cause. Happy Feats' movement is blowing my mind. This donation is going to the Crazy Paradox bonus stage incentive. Thank you to everyone behind the scenes making this happen. Stay safe and save the frames. $200 from Paul137 saying, pump up the jam. $50 from Mike the Bike saying, this is my first time seeing this game, and I gotta say, wow, let's see more of it. Put this towards Paradox. $25 from Blubcake saying, my jaw is still dropped. This is absolutely amazing. And wow. commentating while gliding across the pad? <sighs> Oh, jeez. Yeah, Sorry, chat. I am very exhausted. I'm out of breath completely. I don't know where I'd be at without these fans. Thank you, Games Unquick, for letting me run them. 
All right. Next one's a level 25. Uh, somehow, somehow, this was rated a level 24 on the previous version of this. I don't know what Anamara was thinking, but this is hard. Starts out pretty tame, then it just gets worse and worse. You're gonna see a lot of hip movement. It's all you, Mar. Also, Santa Red Bull, please. Oh, I wish I could. I absolutely would. <laughs> I have $25 from Zen Rider saying, I remember encountering Pumpin' Up at an arcade in Chicago. I'd ev only ever played DDR, and the new control, control scheme was simply too much for me. I'd love to see someone play this game with mastery. And we are. $333 coming in from the Mongoose saying, well, is Happy Feet spelled with two threes or three? Either way, GDQ has it listed as 333, so I guess that's what, that is what is needed. Also, if people don't know already, the Pump It Up run will be crazy, and it absolutely is. Oh my goodness. We have $30 from Not A Pretty Instructor saying, no mere mortal is capable of such feats. It must be sardines. <laughs> we must see more of this glorious display. This goes to more Pump It Up. $25 from Wholesome Witch Bean Plushie saying, I have no idea what I'm watching, but it looks scary. How to feat even? D28 Paradox sounds terrifying. Let's do it. One second. Just gonna get hydrate here really quick. Take a break. We got no time for that. No time. All right. So this is one of the highest levels for one side, also known as single play. Very, uh, very dense chart. Lots of arrows all clustered up. Also a very, very awesome song. Mark, go ahead. All you. We have $200 from Leon313 saying, I cannot help but donate during this amazing showcase. The CRDQ one was amazing, but this Pump It Up one looks even more awesome. Thanks to everyone at GDQ for a week of riveting feats. $30 from Mr. Zebub saying, loving this Pump It Up showcase. Happy Feats is truly an inspiration. Quick question though, what's your budget for new socks? Good question. $50 from Bloodthirsty13 saying, pump it up hype.
$25 from Purple Vespa saying, watching the Pump It Up showcase, and uh, I didn't know legs could move like that. Oh, they sure could. Oh, wow. We actually got no bads on that, which is really solid. Next um, I completely forgot to mention this earlier. Apologize, but the game has different judgments, as you guys could probably tell by now. But for all the judgments, you got perfect at the highest, then great, good, bad, miss. Level 24 over. Okay. Um, now we have two more songs. Actually, I apologize. Well, actually, you know what, chat? How much time do I have? Oh, I'm doing great on time, actually. I'm doing great. Okay. I was worried about that. That was like my biggest concern. So... This is top five hardest songs in the entire game. Um, this is a level 27. This was, I believe, the second level 27 that Andamero released ever. Um, this is the first arcade mode 27, because um, there's different categories in the game. There's remix, full song. Um, this is arcade mode, what I've been playing for the most part. Um, the main difference is that the length of the songs. Uh, shortcuts are the, literally the shortest because uh, it's like 50 seconds or so, give or take, for each song. The average length of a pump song is usually like two minutes or so. And so the first one was a remix, the first 27. So it was a bit lengthier, but the the difference is uh, it's mainly a trade-off. The remixes are longer, so it makes it a little bit more tiring, I guess you could say. But the the density of the chart is a lot more spread out, giving you more breaks, more time to relax, regain stamina. Whereas Arcade, it's a shorter song. So you would think it'd be easier, but because it's shorter, yet the same difficulty, it's a lot more uh, clustered, less breaks, less wiggle room for recovering. So we're going to play 1950 by Slam, level 27 double. I'm not going to lie, I am I am definitely Monka assing really hard because the pad is incredibly sticky right now from all the sweat, so it's very hard to move. My goal is to try to pass it. I will do my very best. And uh, once again, Mar... I'm not going to be able to talk at all during this one. I'm going to be fully focused and give it my all here. Wish me luck, chat, and enjoy. Good luck, Happy Feats. We're rooting for you. Yeah. <laughs> we have $25 from Penn State Phil saying, enjoyed Happy Feats' showcase so much last time. Can't wait to see him show off his incredible skills again. Stay hydrated. $50 from Elegant Fugue saying, donating to help ensure the Pump It Up run, even if I'll be asleep for it. Please let Happy Feet know he's allowed to use his fan this time. Don't overheat. $100 from Evan Source Rex 246 saying, hello to Twitch chat from your current tech crew. We can only imagine you're as transfixed by this as we are. Happy Feats is a legend. Shoutouts to Sense Lamp. Keep the donations pouring in. Still lots more SPVQ to go. We love you. from Pi74 saying, interested in seeing Paradox after hearing it, hearing it be pumped up by everyone. $25 from 
germs saying, I keep thinking he's going to go flying off and never stop. I think we lost it right at Truly the end. Truly awe-inspiring. Yeah. yeah. Just lost it, barely. <sighs> All right. Chat, I may actually stop in the middle of this one, just a fair warning. Uh, very, very hard to breathe right now, but we're gonna do our best here. But at the same time, don't worry, I'll be, I'll be all right. This is uh, the first 27 that actually came out in the game. I'm gonna take some water first for obvious reasons. <laughs> Mar, if you want to take a brief moment here before I hit start on this one, go ahead and read off some more donations. Sure, absolutely. Hope you're, hope you're okay over there, sir. We have $25 from Papa Teraflop saying, excited to see Happy Feet's back at SGDQ to pump it up again. Donation goes to make Happy Feet go burr on Paradox. $50 from Professor Pangloss saying, absolutely love Rhythm Game showcases between Cloned Hero in January and now Pump It Up. Happy to support an important cause while rooting for these games. Let's go happy and let's go for Paradox. All right. Uh, once again, goal is to get a, a pass. But if I'm not able to get it, no sweat. Well, you know what I mean. We'll try our best here. Wish me luck, guys. The calm before the storm. We got it. 
Very hard to do right now, but I got managed to get it. <sighs> next stage. All right, before I start this next one, I'm going to take a brief moment here because you guys unlocked the Paradox. Double 28. We did it at CRDQ. We're going to do it again. Currently, I could be wrong on this. Someone in the chat can correct me. I believe, I believe six people in the world have passed this uh, globally. So I, I think that's right. I think it's six. <sighs> okay. Chat. I need a favor from you, chat. I need one favor. I need you guys to give me all of your energy, everything you've got, so I can give it my all on this last song I'm going to play. And the only way I can receive energy is it? It's not anything you can do in the chat when it comes to typing, but you gotta donate to the awesome cause that Games Done Quick is having right now. Let's go, make it happen, make an impact for everyone around the world. Thank you, Games Done Quick, for having me on and for having this event for everybody to showcase things that they're very passionate about. Greatly appreciate it. Chat, let's go. Make it happen. Mar, it's all you. Oh, yes, we have a $500 donation from Captain Steel saying, Happy Feet, you rock. $25 from Setra Blue saying, Rhythm Games and Final Fantasy VII, my Friday night has been made. Can't wait to see Happy Feet's tear it up. Oh, and he is. $10 from Snaily Syrup saying, Happy Beats is killing it. If he can play those songs at that level, I can donate 10 more dollars to MSF. You're amazing, dude. $100 from Slacky is saying, How can you not donate for Happy Beats? Just masterful. $25 from Scarlet213 saying, You can do it, dude! Keep it up! $25 from James114 saying, Man, what an awesome run! All I can say is extreme cardio. Good luck on Paradox. We're still alive. $1,000 from Alan Zoka saying, this is amazing. Much love from Brazil. $100 from Austin R saying, this pump it up showcase is insane. I didn't know it was possible to move like this. Thank you, everybody. Thank you guys so much for all the support. 
and for making this bonus showcase even possible. Next you all managed to unlock this with $120,000 in donations. That is incredible. So thank you guys so much. If you enjoyed, pump it up, and you'd like to see more of this, we welcome you in our community here at the Igloo Arcade. We'd love to have you guys all there. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And that's all. Thank you so much for watching. And let's keep the donations going for all the other runners ahead. Thank you, guys. Before this video ends, I just wanted to give a big thank you to everyone that supported me through this run and also to those who checked out this video here on YouTube. If you enjoyed the content, hit that subscribe button and check out my Twitch streams for more Pump It Up. The clickable link will be in the video description as well as the pinned comment for this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you all next time. Yeah.